the fun in this lesson is the fun they had but through this lesson we will be having fun we are going to have fun here what is it one here the characters they talk about the book and the school they do not know what is a book they do not know what is a book why because in your computer sorry whether in computer or in your mobile phone also you can download books some are premium books some are free books right free books you can download and you can read it when we are having that in our mobile why we should have for a printing printed book so we slowly slowly we discard it and if in a computer if we can download it or if we can upload it in a computer what is the necessity of a book we need not have to see so in computer we can go for extra information than which is given in the book so in such a case the author was forced to think about now people are dependent on the books and in the years to come would there be any books or slowly the printing and all these things will go away already there are magazines in the internet magazines are there newspapers are there for everything you can go to the internet and the computer means practically you need not have to open the newspaper whatever news you want you can select and you can just touch it and you are having the news in front so if this is the technology if it is increasing so day by day then a day would come certainly when and of course some governments they have declared paperless offices paperless offices the fun is they are using more and more papers there only if paperless offices come if paperless schools come now let just let us think about this uh, paper manufacturing companies and factories what would happen to it we need not to think about it right and if the books are not printed what would happen to this printing media right so that we are we are not bothering about but here a boy and a girl at a late, very later stage they find a book they wonder and they simply think about their grandfather's time right that is what in that manner the writer has introduced the science and technology how changes it may bring over there now because of this school we are fed up not only we ravina tagore long back that is we can say about a 100 years ago or 200 years ago ravina tagore had already what he had already foreseen what kind of school one must have and so he has started you are a new completely a new system of school right that is shanti niketan he put and uh, bookless means students need not have to carry books government and everybody and ed educational institutions every educationist they are telling our students should not carry books but towards that how many are working successfully we don't know but ravina tagore made it so that in a school no classrooms and no books of course i did not see but i heard it i read it and uh, it is a fact also let us forget about that but here a book less and school less children about them we are going to read i don't say book less school i say the students they don't have books they don't have schools means what they are not studying or what no studying is there examinations are there teaching is also there right so how it uh, goes only when we read this lesson we come across so let me have a read for you and hear it maggie even wrote about 
in that night in her diary on the page headed 17 may 2157 she wrote today tommy found a real book it was a very old book maggie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper they turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen you know and then when they turned back to the page before it had the same words on it that it had had when they read in the first time yee said tommy what a waste when you are through with the book you just throw it away i guess our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good for plenty more i wouldn't throw it away same with mine said maggie she was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as tommy had he was 13. she said where did you find it in my house he pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic what is it about school maggie was scornful school what's that to write about school i hate school maggie always hated school but now she hated it more than ever the mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in 